Hello cycling fans watching around the world. Welcome back to the Snowman Cycling YouTube channel. One of, if not the most common questions that I get asked on a regular basis is how can I improve my sprinting and take home more of those glorious green jerseys that I see people riding around with on Zwift. Well, don't worry because I decided to give you my best tips, tactics, techniques and tricks to help you obtain all those green jersey gains that you've always dreamed of and win enough sprint finishes to make Cavendish himself turn green with jealousy. And this week we're going to begin with our first and arguably most important of all of our tips when it comes to fastest through the segment sprints. So let's have a look at some examples and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so here we are. It might seem obvious to some of you, but positioning and placement are the most important things that you can do if you're going for a fastest through the segment. And what I mean specifically by that is you always want to be at the very back of the group that you're in. Whether there's 10 riders in that group or 100 riders in the group, the principle is going to be the same. If you start from the back, you have more riders to go through, you're going to go faster for the same amount of effort that you would do if you were solo, and any time that you spend on the front, sprinting into thin air, as I like to call it, is going to cost you watts. You're probably saving at least a couple of hundred watts in this scenario that I'm in right now as we attack this sprint, and you want to time it so that you're hanging off the back of the group, not letting the gap get too big so that you can't close it, but instead you want to use those wheels to surf through, picking up speed as you go, and if you time it just right, you'll get to the front of the group as you're hitting the end of the sprint. The opposite to that is if you were on the front of this group sprinting, Every single rider in this group behind you would be at an advantage compared to you and would essentially be sucking your wheel, probably doing less power than you and still coming around you at the end to steal your green jersey. It takes a bit of practice, there's a little bit of an art form to it, sometimes I like to call it playing chicken, but if you do it just right, this trick will pick you up more green jerseys than pretty much anything else you're going to do on Zwift. So jump in with some pace partners, Find some big groups out on the road and use them to your advantage. They don't have to be going fast, they don't even have to be sprinting, but remember the key is you want to have no open air between you and the finish line. The more riders the better, and that means biding your time, holding your nerve as you hit the start of the sprint, and then launching it from the very, very back of the group. And as we have a look at this second example, we're going to see how powerful that tip really is because it makes up for the other two important tips I've got for you that I don't do in this clip. So we'll have a look afterwards to see what I did wrong, but you can see exactly how powerful it is to come from the back of the group like that. It really does give you a few extra seconds on that time. And it can make the difference if you do make a crucial mistake like the two that I made there. And as we'll see as we take another look there, I started that sprint way, way too late. I basically launched my attack as we hit the green start line. And that's just too late. If you're only starting to accelerate when you hit the line, you're missing out on all the time it takes you to accelerate being at top speed. It probably takes you a second or two to get up to your max power. So realistically, you need to start your sprint before the start of the green dotted sprint line. I know that feels counterintuitive and you want to wait until you're basically on the green line before you launch your sprint. But trust me, it's going to save you so much time if you launch your sprint. If in doubt, I always tell people, go early. Even if that means you're tiring out the last 50 meters of the sprint, you're still going to be faster than if you launch your sprint at the start line thinking you're conserving energy. And the other thing that I didn't have there that's really, really important to have is a power up. Let's not forget, Zwift is still a game, so you need to take on board the gamification aspect of it. And if you don't have specifically probably an aero power up or maybe a draft boost power up, you're gonna be seeding a few seconds to those sprinters that do have one. For example, let's have a look at the difference between these two sprint finishes. One where I come from the back of the group with a power up, and one where I come from the back of the group without a power up, and how much harder it is to come through the group and get to the front without a power up. And when it comes to when to use that power up, make sure you're always deploying it just before you launch your sprint. You don't wanna be trying to mess around with doing it whilst you're in the middle of launching your sprint, out the saddle, changing gears, all those sorts of things. You wanna have your power up deployed just before you launch that sprint. So you get the most time out of it that you possibly can, and also it gives you the best benefit as you're accelerating up to speed and trying to hold that speed for as long as you can. 
Okay, gang, so there we go. We've got the three top tips that are gonna really help you get those green jersey gains that you've all been dreaming about. So let's just have another look at the first sprint again with everything we've learned, do it one more time. We start from the back of the group, making sure that we're gonna get as much draft as we possibly can as we plow our way through. We make sure to deploy our power up before the sprint starts so that we're not having to mess around with it whilst we're launching our sprint. We keep an eye out for the start of the sprint line using the green dotted line to indicate it and we launch it well in advance of that start line to make sure that we are at max speed and max power as we cross the start line. So put all three of those things together and you're going to find that you get more green jerseys than you've ever had before. You're going to have to practice a little bit, put it all together, but once you do, it will be natural and it will be second nature. And all your friends will be asking how you've got so good at sprinting. So good luck, guys. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments if these tips helped you, if you managed to get some green jerseys because of it. Thank you as always for watching. As always, race fast. Ride hard and remember that you are appreciated.